Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Here are some options that I invited a burned out doctor and a burned out lawyer to consider. I've changed irrelevant details to protect their anonymity. Here's paraphrasing what the doctor said. I wish that before I started med school, someone had told me what being a doctor is like today. I'm exhausted and actually depressed and tempted to write myself a script for Vicodin. The endless paperwork for Medicare and insurance companies, after which they give doctors ever-shrinking payments and often deny, deny, deny coverage. Imagine my having to tell patient after patient that the insurer refuses to cover needed care. I have to give my patient free medical treatment or turn away a sick patient. And with my reduced payments from insurers, I still have to pay back my student loans. Medical school alone is $200,000. Then there is malpractice insurance and ever-increasing government-mandated requirements for how I should practice to my payroll costs. I want out. Here is a paraphrase of, my paraphrase of my response. First, it probably doesn't help much, but I should mention that you're not alone. Many of my physician clients are feeling that way, and many of the older ones are retiring. But assuming you want to change career rather than retire by any of the following appeal, Develop a low-stress micro-niche. For example, one of my clients who was a dermatologist developed a specialty of doing Mohs microsurgery. Or be a forensic medical examiner or coroner. Do case review for Medicare or for an insurance company. Join Kaiser, where there's less paperwork, shorter hours, and no need to pay overhead, such as office staff and malpractice insurance. Move your practice to a small town where the pace is slower and perhaps appreciation for your efforts is greater. Get an MBA to qualify you for a career in hospital administration. Start a medical-related business such as durable medical equipment or an urgent care or concierge medicine. Be a medical writer, writing patient literature, scripts for training videos, documents for government compliance. Join a research team, whether at a university, pharma, or biotech company. Or do locum tenens, that's fill-in work for doctors on vacation or in emergency rooms. Um, the next letter, the second of these two letters, uh, it's not a letter, it's actually just a paraphrase what one of my lawyer clients said. This is this, uh, he said, I was more of a word guy than a science and math guy, so I went to law school. I had no idea what it would be like. Oh my God, the pressure and so much detail work and ethical challenges. I'm not sleeping and I'm not happy. I want to get out while I'm still young enough, but I don't know what to get out to. Here was a paraphrase of my response. Might any of the following be worth investigating? A low stress specialty within law, for example, education law, estate law, lemon law, maritime law, or bankruptcy law. America's liberal bankruptcy laws meaning you'll likely have many grateful clients. Or might you want to go in-house, that's within a company or a nonprofit. The pace there is usually slower and less intense than in a law firm where clients are paying big bucks and by the hour usually, and so they expect big results and fast. Or become a sports or literary agent. Become a mediator. Now, it's a crowded market, so you'll want to pick a niche. I had a client who now specializes in mediating disputes between postal workers. A lobbyist. Well, knowledge of the law is central to that. Federal, state, and local governments employ many lawyers, and the pressure tends to be less and the hour is shorter. Be a legal recruiter, and his work for a legal headhunting firm or at a large law firm recruiting and screening not just lawyers, but paralegals and legal secretaries. And finally, you want to be a politician. Lawyering skills from wordsmithing to persuasive argumentation transfer well to politics. Anyway, um, those are my uh, examples of some thoughts for uh, would-be career changes, in this case a doctor and a lawyer. I did one yesterday uh, that's a college president and a pianist and a, and a weed farmer. And I'm planning to do another one tomorrow, I think, with a teacher and uh, a software engineer and uh, uh, irrigation specialist, I think. Anyway, um, I th thank you for watching. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. 
and I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.